Okay, so here is the final layout for the modular switch panel that I'm going to do for my Tacoma right now. Obviously, you can tell we still have two extra spots for the small or short switches that I can expand to in the future. So now at this point, we're ready to install. However, there is one more crucial, crucial piece of information that you need to understand about these modular switch panels. And that is when you go to buy the panel and the module insert and everything, you're going to have two different options to choose from. No matter what variation you decide to pick, you're going to have two different options. There's going to be a no cut option, which means that this switch panel system will replace the factory panel with no modifications whatsoever. It will snap right into place. You don't have to do anything extra. And then you're going to have your regular option. Your regular option will not say no cut. It will just show the option for the switch panel and module insert. And so this one, for example, is a regular option. So that means I need to modify the dash behind this trim panel. So I'm gonna use either a box cutter or this little hacksaw that I use for metal. It'll cut through plastic just fine if I could fit it in there. And uh, I'm going to cut these two ears on the top left and top right off so that way I can have my switches actually clear and fit into this switch panel hole that's over here. Here's what it looks like after I made the necessary cuts so that the switches can clear on the inside. Make sure to take extra care and not actually cut any wires because there are wire harnesses behind here. So go slow and steady. Definitely make small cuts and cut out small little pieces at a time as opposed to one big piece like I did. It'll make your life a lot easier if you just take small cuts. So now that everything is cleared, I should be able to plug out all my switches back in and pop the uh, modular switch panel into place. That's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to like as it really helps the performance of the video and make sure to subscribe if you want to see future installs and modifications on the third gen Toyota Tacoma. I appreciate your time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.